Hello there. It's very hot here. Uh, and uh, I'm sweating a lot. How do you like my quarantine hair? Is that good? You like that fancy? I can do all sorts of fun things with it. I can't quite tie it back yet, but... Maybe I can get some nice ribbons and put some nice ribbons in it or something. <laughs> anyway, hey. So, I've been working on this uh, composting toilet, and uh, 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 I think it's going okay. Let me show you what I've done. So, I cut out these pieces in the last video, for the last video. I have the flip up top part, and um, I have the, uh, the rest of that one piece. I cut the two inch piece off. So I have a top and a bottom, which are both the same length and width. And I cut two inches off the end of the top one. Okay, I traced the toilet seat hole and I went an extra about half inch. And then I drilled a few holes and used the skills, uh, not skill saw, I'm sorry, the uh, jigsaw, jigsaw on it and cut that out. Then what I did was on the bottom, I attached these two by fours so I cut them to 15 inches, uh, top to bottom, 15 inches. And uh, that has room for the bucket. And then the diverter, which is over here. Let me get that diverter. I ordered it off eBay. I think it was $45. Um, it came with an extension, a one inch extension. So I guess that's if you, uh, you have to clear the bucket. So, or no, that doesn't make sense. I'm not sure why I use the extension. Maybe if you want an extra tall toilet, then you use the extension. So I'm going to use the extension because um, that will reduce the spray back from peeing in this. This is the diverter. So it's, it's not exactly too shallow, but it's not exactly deep. So I figure with the extension, it's a one inch extension that came with the extension then it's even deeper so that's going to screw on here Let's see if I'm going to switch hands I don't know where any of my equipment is and my assistants are playing video games so they're not out here have you guys heard of Fortnite? it's kind of fun they like it. So let's, there we go, I got a hold of it. Okay, so that's going to go right in here. So it's going to attach just so it clears the hole like that. And then that'll leave room for the bucket. Plenty of room for the bucket. I actually think I could have made this even shallower, but I wanted to make room, make sure that I had room for the, um, the pea catching bucket, whatever I was going to use for the pea catcher, the urine catcher. Um, so I cut the hole. So these are 15 inches long. The two by fours are 15 inches long. This I believe is 18 by 16. I want to say, but that all depends on your toilet seat. So it just it just clears the toilet seat. So there's about uh, three quarters of an inch on either side of the toilet seat and up front maybe a quarter of an inch it goes almost right to the edge and then I drilled the holes where I'm going to attach the toilet seat I'm just going to attach it normally um, which would be might be a problem when I flip it up to uh, empty that it's going to flip open so I have to clamp it somehow I mentioned this in the other video the last video where I started this project um, so getting some sort of clamp so clamp it and then flip it up um, I have hinges for here but before I attach any hardware so I'm gonna put the hinges here and here one hinge here one hinge here and then the toilet will be attached here toilet seat sorry and uh, I sanded all these edges I have some flat wood I don't know what it's called it's, it's super thin uh, it's not even a quarter inch thin maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that and it's just I'm going to cut that and put that around but obviously that's uh, last kind of 
Actually, maybe I should do that now. Because I have the this made. I can't attach the hardware till it's stained. If I stain this, it's just really the top because that's all that's showing. And the edges at the bottom. I guess I'll stain the edges at the bottom right here. I don't know about staining the bottom. There's really no point in staining the bottom. So I'll stain that. Maybe I'll just attach the sides. So great. I forgot about that. So now I have to attach the sides in the front and the back. So I have to go get that wood and cut it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. It's uh, with that heat index thing, it's like 102, 105 here today. So even though I'm in the shade, it's pretty hot. I don't know. I'm gonna go have some water and put my face in front of the air conditioning for a minute. See how that goes. I have my tape measure here so we can see before I go in. So let's see. The top and the bottom are so 20 inches long. 20 inches by 16 inches wide. So 16 inches wide. And then I took two inches off, apparently a little less than two inches off, for the back bar. So that would make it about 18 inches. Anyway, okay. So the diverter will clear the bucket. That was really my big concern, is that it was high enough for the diverter to clear the bucket. Because otherwise the bucket would have to be way back there behind the diverter. And I wouldn't want that. I want it to overlap a little bit. So, so that's how that's going to be. So that's it for now. Again, I'm not going to put the hardware on until I stain it. I had to, uh, when I attached it, uh, the top was rocking, you know, like, because uh, these two were too high. These two 2x4s two were higher than these two. So I sanded them down. I sanded them way down until that rocking stopped. So now it lays flat. The bottom rocks, but I don't know what to do about that. I imagine once it's all together and on the floor, that might be okay. Of course, maybe this table's uneven. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I can always put carpeting on the bottom even. Um, just glue carpeting to the bottom of it. Okay. So that's it for now. I'm going to go cool off. And, um... Whee! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go cool off and uh, maybe take a shower because I don't exactly smell... No, it's not bad. It don't smell that bad. It's okay. Um, just be glad you're not here. So, until next time, see ya.